I remember he came in and um, my mother opened the front door. And I remember she just, she fainted. She couldn't believe that he came back because nobody usually comes back from something like that. And uh, he came in and he, he, she was telling me, that's my father. I said, who is that man? She says, that's your father. I said, no, it's not, because I don't, didn't remember him. He, I was so young when he left that I did not re recognize him or remember him. She says, yes, this is your father. And I kept telling her, I don't know that man. And she tried to persuade me that it was. And then he started giving us some things he had brought with him, like uh, candy, chocolate, uh, bread, uh, jelly, all kinds of things that he hid inside his clothes because he knew we, we needed food. And um, after a while, you know, he with all these things that he gave us, not having that happen before, little by little, I got to believe my mother that he maybe that is is my father, which it was. And he gave you only small um, portions of the food uh, because he was from, fearful it might be too much. From what my uh, my mother has said, he he cut the, uh, cut up little bitty pieces to give us so that we wouldn't overeat. Because you know when you overeat and you haven't eaten for a long time, you can get very sick. And we were undernourished. It was very obvious from looking at us, he could tell that we didn't have much food. So uh, little by little, we tried to get our strength back because we didn't do anything, no activities or anything, just sitting around, not being able to go anywhere and not being able to have enough to eat after a while. You just sit there, nothing else you can do. But he um, he tried to get us back on our feet and get us back to to feeling like we're human, even though we couldn't go anywhere or do anything or play with anything, didn't have toys, didn't have anything to do. He wanted us to look more healthy than we did, and he managed to do that. <laughs>